What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. Should be a quick one. PlayStation has announced who the new individuals, yes, individuals, will be that are going to replace Jim Ryan for the first time, at least as far as I know, in the first time PlayStation's history for this specific position, there's never been co-CEOs, uh, two individuals um, that will be CEOs. So as far as I know, this is a first. So uh, here's what the report says. Um, Herman Holst, and, and, and I'm going to try not to butcher this man's name because y'all say every time I try to pronounce a, a, a Japanese name, I commit a hate crime. So I'm going to try not to commit a hate crime this time. Herman Holst and Hideaki Nishino, I think I got that right, will jointly succeed Jim Ryan as the CEOs of Sony Interactive Entertainment. Uh, Herman Holst uh, is the CEO of the newly named Studio Business Group, which includes all of PlayStation's uh, first party teams, plus covers the development of PlayStation IPs, uh, other mediums such as TV and film also. Um, Herman Holst's been rising the ranks like a motherfucker. Like this man was just, uh, you know, the, the head of Guerrilla Games, like it, what feels like the other day, then he became head of PlayStation Studios, and now he's one of the CEOs. Um, so yeah, he rose through the ranks really quickly. And uh, Hideaki Nishino, um, he started as a manager with, uh, he's been with Sony a long time. A lot of these dudes that you see in these high positions, they have a lot of loyalty to Sony. They've been with them a very long time. Um, so he, from what I see, he started out with Sony as a manager in 2000, January 2006, became a director, senior director. Um, eventually made it to deputy general manager for Sony, uh, became a vice president for uh, Sony Computer Entertainment specifically, senior vice president for a long time, and now he's going to be one of the CEOs. So uh, Hideaki Nishino will lead the platform business group, which includes console hardware, technology, accessories, PlayStation Network, and third-party relations. Um, so essentially everything outside of gaming outside of gaming development that still uh, has to do with the logistics of the gaming business, he's going to handle that. Herman Holst is kind of just going to get elevated and continue to do the same thing that he's been doing as, uh, you know, head of PlayStation Studios, just at a CEO rank. That's what it pretty much sounds like to me, which sounds like a good idea in, you know, at least on paper, um, that the responsibilities kind of get divvied up one who knows about the gaming division will focus on that. And the other one is going to kind of focus more on the business side and the logistics. I think that's a good idea. I imagine that they kind of reviewed this position, um, kind of just took a look at it. Uh, and something made them come to the decision um, that we want two CEOs in this position. Could be something like a check and balance. It could be just... You know, they want uh, they, they feel like individuals could possibly just uh, perform their roles better if they had more of a focus and, you know, separate responsibilities and they didn't have to juggle so many. Uh, one person didn't have to juggle so many responsibilities, kind of like what they did with the uh, old girl over there at um, at three, four, three. Was it Bonnie Ross? Uh, Bonnie Ross, she she was, you know, the the the, the head of three four three industries, and then they split her role into three different individuals. I think it was three, not even two, three. So that that um that role probably had a lot of duties, a lot of responsibilities. They might have seen that is a lot for one person to handle, so they tried to divvy it up. Um, and I just I just like the idea that somebody who uh, knows games. And so I, I like Herman Hulse. Um, You know, I, I just think he's, he's very knowledgeable about just gaming and the development of it. So I think having somebody in a, in a gaming uh, position to actually focus on the gaming side, uh, you know, and be, be a CEO is a great thing. Because usually one of the things, the, the, the conversation um, that comes with, you know, who they choose for CEO, it's usually either a creative or a or a money guy you know what they call bean counters right you know a financial guy that's usually what we have to choose between um 
when it comes to PlayStation CEOs. Most people would say they preferred the, the, the PlayStation CEOs that were creatives um, in the past because they care more about the art and de development of games. So I think having two people is a good idea. Um, like I said, at least, at least in theory, at least on paper. And uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a, a good thing. And like I said, I do like Herman Holst. Um, PlayStation has been, uh, you know, obviously has had a, uh, a rocky last year and this year as far as like, con you know, just content and consistency. Um, I don't put that on him, but he does have to make sure that PlayStation gets on a proper cadence and releases stuff in the next few years he he definitely has to get them back on track um and kind and still kind of prove himself but i i think he's a he's a good he's good at his job um so yeah says both leaders will, will report to sony interactive entertainment uh chairman hiroki totoki who has been acting ceo of the division since jim ryan stepped down from the role at the end of march uh, Totoki is also president, COO, and CFO of Sony Group Corporation. The latest change will take effect from June 1st. So yeah, sounds cool. Let me know what y'all think about this. Hopefully it leads to better and bigger things for PlayStation in the coming years. We'll see. All right, I'm out. Let me know what y'all think. Peace.